Hey, what's going on everyone? I've got another update video coming your way. This one's about Cliffcrest, New Isles' closest neighboring town. They used to be fairly far apart as Cliffcrest dates back to 2011, but that's urban sprawl for you. So this is pretty close now. Right off the bat, you'll notice I'm at the railway station and on three tracks. And these connect to New Isle, to Fallout Bay, and to the eventual town of Stillwater. So you'll see the platforms over here. Uh, so the railway station itself hasn't gotten too, too much of an update, but I have expanded the tracks over here and uh, given it more platforms to connect to the new town of Stillwater and to Fallout Bay. Uh, as you'll see from my previous videos, every town is going to have a railway connection to other towns now, so Cliffcrest is uh, no exception to that. Uh, next up, I'm going to show you the Oak Valley Inn. So I've done a few interior updates to this one because it used to be pretty crappy to get around in and uh, probably wouldn't have had too many guests if there's such a poor layout to it. Uh, so you'll see that I've given it a big interior update. There is now a crackling fireplace, and I, I guess this is supposed to be a, a bearskin rug, but you know, this is Minecraft, so you can't get super detailed with this kind of stuff. Uh, if you do have any suggestions for how to make a cooler bearskin rug, then I'm totally about hearing your suggestions for that. Uh, so you'll see the interior has been totally redone. The rooms actually look like rooms now. Uh, there's a top floor to this place too, but I don't want to really explore the hotel too much, so I'm not going to show you all that stuff. You can check it out in my pre-release. Of course, you'll see uh, my signs get updated whenever I do major interior work or any stuff like that. So this one's no exception to that rule either. Next, I'm going to show you what's going on in this part of Cliffcrest. So I've added uh, a few new homes over here as well. Well, if I'm going to be honest with you, just one new home. Um, but I've added a medical center over here, so that contains a pharmacy and a doctor's office. And this over here is a schoolhouse, as you might have uh, caught on from the, the playground in the back over here. So I got hassled about adding a schoolhouse a lot to Cliffcrest. And now that Cliffcrest has a, a schoolhouse of its own, the smug New Islers next door can't make fun of them for lacking an education over here in this part of the world. So, good job, Cliffcrest. You've really upped your game there, and your children will be educated. Although, there aren't really children around here, so maybe there's no one to get educated. Uh, so, what's this thing? I'll talk about that later. Uh, I know this is the more interesting of the things I built, but I'm going to tease you and keep on going over here. Uh, so, over here, you'll find a fire station. So, that is a thing that's coming to every existing town and every new town that's coming along down the line. Uh, you'll see that I've added a, a truck as well, so a fire truck. So that's coming to every fire station, uh, new and existing. Give it a little bit of more realism. All right, all right, let's talk about this thing. Why is there a pirate ship here in a city map of all things? And my answer to that is, why not? It's uh, just a landmark that I built in Cliffcrest. I gave it a bit of lore that it got blown over here from uh, Hurricane Norbert, which I don't know, the name Norbert sound kind of kitschy and, and funny, so I, I named that. Hurricane Norbert blew it over here from New Isle Harbor, and now it became the town land landmark and uh, a bit of a tourist attraction. In fact, the only tourist attraction around in all of Cliffcrest. So now it has something to attract the smug New Islanders from next door that have a lot of money and a lot of tourism dollars to come spend over here. Last but not least, I'm going to show you that's uh, a build that's over here a little bit away from the town of Cliffcrest. So you'll see I also added a road that links Cliffcrest over to the town of Fallout Bay, which is its new neighbor now, as there's a better road connection. And what is this sketchy place, you might ask? Um, well, it's called Uncle Picton's Pig Farm, and I'm not going to tell you much about it. What I will tell you is that I'm Canadian, I have a dark sense of humor, I like true crime, and happy Googling to all my fans if you want to get into that dark corner of the internet. So that's it, that's all. Cliffcrest has always been a bit of a small town. It's not going to change much in New Isle 1.3. I'm keeping to the vibe, I'm not going to expand it into some huge sprawling metropolis like New Isle is. So this is it, this is the new Cliffcrest. 
and I hope you enjoy the new builds. I've got them in my latest pre-release, which you can check out in the Discord channel in the description. Thanks guys for tuning in and I'll come back at you with more videos. I haven't uh, put out too many lately as it's absolutely the busiest time of the year at work for me lately. So I haven't had too much time to balance both playing Minecraft and building more of a new wild world and actually making content for this YouTube channel. But I promise I will make a few new updates because this isn't everything. I've had lots of progress and I will show it off for you. Have a good one guys, take care.